good morning you guys what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to like a super chatty just like day at home i haven't picked up the camera in about five days and i feel like i just have so many updates and random things to just share with you guys so welcome i feel like i'm in a big slump right now with life and just everything which happens every february like i'm not surprised my acid reflux is also refluxing so hard this morning so i don't love that either but i brought out the F1 mug because testing is this week, which is so exciting. I'm also wearing a t-shirt because it's really either warm in the house or like I'm just having like, I don't know, a hot flash or something. But the sun is out. I think it's gonna be a really good day. And I'm just planning on spending the day at home. Honestly, I don't really have anywhere I need to go. And I just like need a day to recharge at home. We had a ton of plans this weekend. Like it was a good mix of having plans and also just like relaxing. But I'm just feeling like I need a day to myself, especially after a long weekend. So anyways, welcome to the vlog. Like I said, I feel like I have some fun home updates for you guys. And I just want to honestly like hang out and chat. I'm gonna put the tea down for a sec. Um, I just feel like I'm in a rut in so many aspects of my life right now. And February does this to me every year, just with the yo-yo weather. Like if it's consistently cold, I'm fine because it's just cold, right? But when it gets to be like spring weather and then back down to minus 20, that's when I start to struggle because I see like a glimmer of hope and then my hope is like shattered. Last week it was literally like seven, eight, nine degrees Celsius and almost all the snow had melted. And then we had a huge snowstorm. Like it probably snowed for like the whole long weekend here and it was down to like minus 15 minus 20 again february is just definitely like my worst mental health month and so it just really hit me hard this weekend i feel like the yo-yo weather is also not good for anyone who has like chronic migraines like myself so i was just dealing with that all weekend too and like luckily i am medicated for it so i can typically stop a migraine like once an aura kind of happens i feel kind of iffy i spent like all of sunday afternoon slash evening just like hiding in the dark trying to not throw up and sleep it off so it was just like you know i'm just feeling kind of meh honestly but also too i feel like i haven't been wanting to pick up the camera and vlog because of this camera like overall i like it but i am someone who i'm not really into videography i just want to pick up the camera i don't want to have to play with any settings and just like vlog and i don't know what it is and i was actually i was talking to selena about this selena trevino you guys probably know her and jenna hong has the same camera or selena doesn't have the same camera but she went from canon to sony like myself and we were talking about how like the sony colors are a bit just like more muted and different to get used to and I've just been struggling. So these walls are white, but we have a lot of walls in our house that like are a warmer white color, which I was so excited about to like get on my white phase. But my Sony picks it up as like, like yellow and I get very yellowed out and it's just been like really big pain to adjust. So I'm honestly just trying to figure out if I want to go back to Canon. Like I really enjoy this camera, but I have to really be selective about where I film in the house. I'm just not sure. I don't know. Maybe it'll just take some more time to adjust to it. But if anyone else has like a Sony, was it an adjustment period from a Canon? Let me know because I'm just struggling. Like, I just want to be able to turn on the camera and film. Also too with Canon, when you look in the viewfinder, the footage you see is like the raw footage you get. Whereas with Sony, it's not. So like I could be filming this right now and it looks good here, but then I'll go to import it into Final Cut Pro to edit it. And the whole clip will be like, you know orange tinted or cool tone or warm tone and so it's a little deceiving like i never really know how a clip is gonna turn out so yeah i also feel like that's just why i haven't really been motivated like i filmed a whole vlog last week and it was just the warmest i could not fix the footage i could not i think i had started a vlog like i had like 25 minutes of footage i just couldn't fix it i just it was just not great so Anyways, I'm still just trying to figure the camera out. But speaking of cameras as well, I finally got my pre-order in for the DJI Pocket Osmo 3, which I'm so excited about. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It is like a new generation. I want to say action camera, but it doesn't have that action camera feel like a GoPro. And it's on a gimbal and it's really, really cool. You should look it up if you have never heard of it before. I, I follow a ton of people who vlog on it and uh, Jessica Braun sometimes vlogs on it. Uh, and Tyler, I believe, only does their Disney vlogs on it now. And it's really small as well. So I'm really excited to get that. I really, every year, I always struggle so hard with business write-offs. I don't like to spend a ton of money, um, like in terms of the business. But then I come around to tax season and I end up owing a decent amount of money. And so I'm trying to get better into the habit this year of like, it's okay to upgrade things. And like, I'm good at upgrading cameras and stuff, but in other aspects, like I struggle. Uh, and anyways, so 
I'm saying that because I spent most of the weekend working on my taxes and I just need to get better of writing about writing things off and even things like for example I'm an incorporation not a sole proprietor and I can like move over the internet and move over my phone into like my business name and have my business pay it but I just like haven't done it yet but that would like obviously add up to be a decent amount of money same thing with my car if I were to I have to look into that but I'm pretty sure with the CRA you can only do a lease so, like technically I could trade in my car for an SUV and lease it and write off a portion of it to my business um, it goes like percentage wise so let's say I drove my car 70% business 30% personal I could charge my business 70% of my um, car payment so I have been looking into that as well because we do really want to get an SUV but I'm just waiting to see what like interest rates and stuff are because I have a really good interest rate on my Elantra right now and I'd probably prefer if Matt was the one to trade his car in because his is paid off. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just totally rambling now. Like I said, it's gonna be a really long, chatty, pretty minimally edited video. Yeah, all that to say, I pre-ordered my DJI Pocket Osmo 3. I'm really excited about that and I'm trying to think what camera, like I went through my cameras this weekend and I put a few lenses and stuff up for sale. So I sold my Canon G7X, which I knew that one would be pretty easy to sell because everyone wants it for photos and there was nothing really wrong with it um I was just like ready to upgrade past Canon and try out a Sony again I've tried out I've tried to get into Sony three times now this is the only time it's really stuck so far it's only been what since Christmas so two months but I sold that and then I think I'm gonna keep my M50 just because I do really like it um but I wish Canon was gonna upgrade that like it's a pretty old camera but I feel like for most people after the Canon G7X they upgrade to the Canon M50 so I have that camera as well and then I also put up my GoPro for sale if I'm going to get the DJI Pocket Osmo 3 and I think that's it for I have a few Sigma lenses I actually had to order the um you can order an adapter like a, a Sigma adapter that will allow you to use your Canon lenses on your Sony so I ended up actually ordering that adapter as well so I could use my Sigma lenses for Canon on this camera when I film like sit down videos and stuff so I'm sorry, people are probably not interested in the cameras and the logistics of it all but all this to say I need to be better about my write-offs this year because obviously the write-offs help lower your taxable income. I mean, as an incorporation, it should hopefully be lower this year because when you're a sole proprietor, it goes based off of your, in Canada at least, your tax brackets. And whereas with an incorporation, you're just taxed at, I think it's 12.5% under the, or for the first $500,000, which I don't make anywhere near that. But I'm interested to see what my taxes are going to be like. And then, you know, all that stuff. I do have an account now just because like I pay myself dividends and I just don't, I don't want to mess with any of that and I also want to tell you guys too I was thinking about this this weekend that I watch obviously a lot of other creators do monthly resets and stuff and I just want to remind you guys that business income and personal income are so different like a business might make ten thousand dollars a month but that doesn't mean that's what you're personally bringing in and so I just want to remind you guys when you see creators that say they're bringing in like 10 11 twelve thousand dollars a month like they might be on the business side but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what they're bringing in on the personal side or it could be they could be paying themselves ten thousand dollars from the business but i just want to remind you guys i think who posted this erin what's her last name erin i'll put her tiktok here i love following her and she made that a good point that business income does not equal personal income it's not like the same thing like my business could bring in eight thousand dollars a month but i only personally pay myself not even a thousand or two thousand dollars so business income does not equal personal income right I just want to remind you guys of that because I feel like when you watch resets and stuff it's so easy to compare yourself but also know that a lot of those amounts are like before taxes I don't know why it's so warm in the house today but I'm kind of craving an iced coffee so I think I might make myself an iced coffee I also finished a book this weekend so I'll share that with you guys share like what I'm currently reading I might get a little bit ready for the day I'd love to film some short form content today just while I'm kind of like um at home for the day Matt has my car he took his car um into the shop and today's obviously my day off so not really going anywhere which is kind of nice honestly the house is pretty clean because we had guests over like Matt's mom came over we had friends come over we went to my parents for dinner and um, yeah, it was a really nice weekend. It wasn't like the original plan. We actually had some plans for the weekend. We had friends coming to visit us, but that fell through. And not that I'm not happy about that. I'm obviously really sad, but looking back on it, I'm like, would my introverted self have been like been able to handle that? <laughs> because I'm exhausted after having like people come to, over to our house for like a few hours, like not exhausted, but like, you know, I obviously don't recharge my batteries with other people. And so we had a lot of social plans this weekend. Like we had plans every day for a few hours and I'm just drained. 
so I'm like what I have to I'm sure I would have been fine but yeah I also did some like trip planning this weekend which I'm pretty sure I've already filled you guys in on our trip plans but we don't have anything until May we are going back to Florida in May for our one year engagement anniversary which is so fun just like another long weekend trip um we have a ton of gift cards to use from when we went in November Disney like insanely spoiled us when we went on that brand trip and so we have a ton of gift cards left to use so like our food will basically be free we booked our flight with points um and all that stuff so and in June I'm going to Yellowknife which is exciting for a conference um and I'm going like to attend a conference not run it so that'll be really fun to just you know check out Yellowknife and when you're running a conference like you don't really get much free time so it'll be nice to go as an attendee I do have really long travel days though of course because I'm going up north so like I'm not looking forward to that but it'll be really fun to check off a second like northern province territory like two years in a row. Last year I went to Nunavut and we don't typically have any summer travel plans just because the weather is nice here. We have a really busy fall for travel as well. So in late August, we're going to New Brunswick for a wedding and then we're going to Boston for a wedding or like New England for a wedding in September. Then I'm flying to Newfoundland to run a conference in September. Then we don't have any travel plans October, November, and then December we're going to see Zach Bryan in New York City. And then I'll probably end up going to Toronto once or twice for business. I tried to get tickets, which a lot of people didn't, for the um, like romance writer meetup in Toronto in two weeks. It was like Elsie Silver, Lauren Asher, and who else? Anna Huang, I think. The tickets, like there was a huge glitch in the system. Like most people didn't get tickets or they just didn't have a lot of tickets for sale. So I'm not going to that. Guys, I'm really manifesting it so hard. And I know that my manager is working so hard to make it happen, but I'm really manifesting that we get to go to Montreal for Grand Prix weekend. Like that's all I want this year. That's like, it would be like the biggest dream come true. And I'd love to be able to surprise Matt with that. So fingers crossed for that. But yeah, we have a lot of fun travel coming up this year. And I think we're going to save Europe for our honeymoon. So maybe whenever we like elope, probably like the next year, we'll go to Europe or something and do, I don't know, maybe London, Paris. We'll see. But uh, yeah, and I'd really, I'd love to squeeze in a Disneyland trip because we actually had a hotel reach out to us to work with us and we have tickets already. But we just have to find a time to go. I'm thinking maybe October or November we could squeeze it in. But so anyways, that's all the travel we have coming up. And who knows, things will maybe pop up. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, I'm like so out of breath today. That's like the one thing um, since having COVID. I'm so out of breath. And I've noticed too, since I've had COVID the second time in November, I'm always congested. Chronically congested, blowing my nose. It could also just be because it's winter too, but I found that was kind of interesting. I saw the sun was out and I was kind of in a good mood. And I asked myself like, what video do you want to film today? Like what would make you happy? And I was like, I just want to film like a chill day at home, really chatty, catch up. And so that's what we're doing. And I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, today's like the first day. Well, it's only eight something in the morning that I haven't cried, but I've quite literally cried the last like five days. It's not been great. I've been teetering depressive slump, like teetering, just like being in a funk in a depressive slump, if you know what I mean. And I don't know if I quite got into the depressive slump part, but I definitely was teetering it this weekend. You know, I was on a slippery slope. And I just made sure to like rest a lot and relax and try to recharge as much as possible. But today is like a good recharge day for me as well. I did actually organize, oh, was that Friday that I did that? Organize the books if you haven't seen that video. And um, yeah, but let's go make a coffee. Maybe I'll read for a little bit. I just started a new F1 little romance book. I've really been into the thrillers, but I just finished my third one this month. I need a little bit of a palette cleanser. I was gonna pick up... Um, what is the second book? Clockwork Prince. But I needed a little bit of a palette cleanser first. So I'm doing a little F1 romance. And then for some reason, I really wanted to start the Grace year. So maybe I'll also start that. I don't know. We'll see. But let's go make a coffee because now I really, really need it. I knew you were going to be in here, Stella, in the sun puddle. You look so comfy. Should I take some of these pillows off for you? Oh, you guys can, I don't know if you can tell, but she gets so brown in the sun with the Roddy in her. Here, mommy, gonna move some of these pillows for you. So you have room. He's a cute little boony. Oh, here comes little Missy. Here comes little Missy. Hi. Oh, big stretch. You're gonna come cuddle with your sister on the bed? Come on. Hi. Good morning, Bean. How are you doing? She makes the weirdest sounds. <laughs> you are such a character, dude. We love you, though, huh, Bean? Can I help you? Okay, we're not biting. No biting. 
We're gonna let Stella nap, right? Are you guys cuddling together, little sisters? Are you guys being cuddly girls? That is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I ended up changing. I ended up just putting on like a little long sleeve. Like I didn't want a sweater, but the t-shirt was a little too chilly. Favorite iced coffee cup. Key. Ice, obviously. Because it's hot espresso, I just like to use a lot of ice because I hate when the ice melts the coffee. Shot of espresso, add some water. I like half and half in my coffee, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use milk, I guess. That looks so good. Coffee acquired. Mood, a lot better today, honestly. And this is like what irks me about social media is like if someone turned on this vlog, they'd be like, wow, this girl like is live, laugh, loving in the winter. But if I hadn't said I'd been crying on the couch the last five days, depressed out of my mind, like no one would know. So that's why I think it's important to like share this with you guys because I don't want someone to watch this video and just be like, wow, she's just like straight chilling. Like I'm not. Today's the first day I've been straight chilling in five days. Uh, but maybe that's because the sun's also out. I always see these memes being like, oh, I'm a different person when the sun's out. And it's honestly so true. This coffee is hitting. I could not tell you the last time I had a cold coffee. Probably not at all this winter, honestly. Which is funny because I'm normally an iced coffee in the winter kind of girl. But this winter, I don't know if I'm just, it's because I'm 26. Also, someone asked me how old I was the other day. I straight up said 24. I feel like I lost like two, three years because of COVID. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I'm not turning 27 this year. That is like scaring the shit out of me. We finished the closet. Did I even tell you guys we were starting the closet? I don't know if I have because I feel like every vlog I filmed last week, I've just deleted because I just haven't liked how it turned out. So I don't even know if I've told you guys. I can't remember if I did or not, but I wanted to do a walk-in closet somewhere in the house and we have a loft that's right off of our bedroom. I think I shared this in a vlog. Like I've shared it in clips, but I don't know if the video ever made it to YouTube. I wanted to do a PAX closet, but because we're having a structural engineer come out and we're gonna put new beams and stuff up because the previous two owners took down walls in the house without checking if they were support walls. And of course they were. So we didn't want to do anything on the floor. Spend a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on a pax wardrobe for it to like have to be redone when the floors get redone so we actually got a home depot one that goes on the wall it's amazing you guys if you're looking to do like a walk-in closet or just a closet in general i highly recommend looking into them because they're really affordable and we are blown away with how much like space we got so i think we i don't we had gift cards from Christmas that we saved up for this. So I don't know how much we paid out of pocket, maybe like $40. I think they're about $150 each, but I'll show you how big they are. Like they're huge. And we're missing two, we're gonna get two more. We're gonna get another one for the closet and then one for our bedroom. But wait till you guys see it. It looks so nice. And it kind of gives more of like a walk-in closet feel. Don't get me wrong, I love the packs, but I feel like the packs is really good if it's in a space that you see, but if it's in an actual like walk-in closet, I don't think we need a packs. That's just my personal opinion. Like if you're, if you already have a closet room, like I feel like the packs is for rooms that are open, like in the condo where we wanted it to look nice, if that makes sense. So we did that this weekend. I Guys, I did it. High five. I ordered the freaking countertops when I went into the city with my mom on Saturday. Also, let me just say, wow, the sun is really doing things for my mental health. I don't think I've talked this much in like five days, but also it's like very therapeutic for me to vlog. It's the same people that did it last time. And so they're gonna come to the house and measure and then we're gonna get our countertops. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure when you take tile off the wall, you have to like totally re drywall it, which is a small part. So it's not a huge deal, but um, they don't do, well they do, but it's like a really big surcharge that I, I think it's ugly, so I don't want to do it anyways when like the backsplash, like the countertop goes up to meet the backsplash. So we're gonna have to do some like, Matt's gonna have to do some work here, but uh, I'm so, so excited. I'll share which one we went with. We obviously did laminate just because we are gonna redo our kitchen in the next few years, but the layout is not bad. We just obviously need a new countertop if you know, you know. Like our countertops just aren't even even. You just pay a $99 deposit. We've done it once before at the condo and we loved the company. They were really, really great. Um, I think our whole countertop is gonna cost us about $1,400 Canadian. 13 or $1,400 Canadian, which we don't have a huge countertop, but because we also have the um, cutouts and stuff for the, we have like, what is that called? Like the stove that sits on the top. I don't know what that's called. Cooktop. They have to cut out for that obviously. And then 
it would just be straight across but we have that one silly little cabinet on our island here and so that's going to cost us a decent amount and uh what else oh them removing the countertop we're going to get rid of it but they're going to remove it just so they do it properly and that's like a 250 dollars charge which i don't know maybe 1400 dollars is not bad for laminate countertops we also picked there's like three categories of countertop and this is the highest end color way like there's three there's like a b and c a is the cheapest i think a we had one color and a we were going between a and c it was like eleven hundred dollars uh, so there's like three different obviously like levels for laminate So anyways, i'm really excited about that. I'm not sure what the timeline is but we both had put two thousand dollars aside for our bathroom that Flooded or our bathroom that had the leak in it to get that fixed Obviously, it's winter roofers are usually like on vacation and stuff So we can't get that fixed till the spring So we're just gonna use the money we saved from the bathroom which we'll have leftover because the I mean we have four thousand dollars for that and then we have like this is only gonna cost us 1400 so 700 each so um that's what we're using we did have some extra money left from because we made a profit obviously because we bought cheaper and so we have a decent amount of money still for like bigger scale projects which is why you won't see it incorporated into our budget also update because i know i shared this in a few vlogs ago about doing the game room makeover from at the surprise it didn't really work out because the tv stand i ordered um first of all it didn't, when it said delivered it wasn't delivered so i got a refund from amazon and then they randomly dropped it off a few days later so we got like a free tv stand and then the room that i was going to do it in is what matt wanted the closet to be in or what we decided to put the closet in so i think i'm still going to try and do it but it didn't really work out because matt was like what are these paint swatches for and i was like oh i was just swatching paint he was like why were you doing it in here and i was like oh, okay well I guess I gotta tell you now. So, yeah, it's still maybe gonna happen. I was thinking of doing a spare bedroom makeover. I don't know, I really am craving, I guess the kitchen will be my makeover. I love filming those videos like on a budget. They're just so fun to me. The kitchen will come first, but maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll do a bedroom some point this year or a, a bathroom or something. I also need to take a walk around the house and update my list of things to do. Like there's just like random spots in the house that need to be like painted or touched up. So I want to do that. Some packages to unbox that have just come over the last few days. I haven't even been in the mood to open those. Okay, I'm going to walk you guys through the house with all the updates. Also, PSA, do not buy these floating shelves at HomeSense, TJ Maxx, wherever you are. They are awful, awful quality. I really liked the color of them. They're like a really nice dark espresso. Anyways, we hung them up yesterday and they just like drooped off the wall. We They were just the worst quality ever. So save yourself the money. Get some from like, honestly, Ikea ones are really good quality. So just a PSA, just don't buy these. I was really sad about them, but I ordered some other ones from Rona. I feel like sticking to like Home Depot, Rona, Lowe's, Ikea for floating shelves is way better. Like not even Amazon, you know? Wanted to put the floating shelves here. I guess still going to, I just ordered different ones from Rona. I wanna put two shelves here. I feel like it'll just look nice. I love the pin board, don't get me wrong. Like the pin board will just go somewhere else, but I feel like it will help kind of fill the space. I'm still really struggling with this wall here, but I think it's fine, honestly. I'm gonna take my time with it and figure it out, but I'm still struggling with that wall for sure. So you guys, look how cool this is. I thrifted this the other day. It's Clockwork Angel, but it is a, a graphic novel. How cool is that? thought that was really neat. And the first few pages are in color. I'm really excited. I'm also gonna flip through it, I think. I thought that was so cool. So I'm gonna stick that, actually. I'm just gonna stick it right here so I don't forget. Any updates down here? Uh, don't mind the blankets. It's because the dogs just absolutely love these chairs because this room gets so much sunlight. I don't think we have any updates down here. We walk upstairs. This is like the little empty alcove, which has Matt's gaming setup. I don't know why he wanted to put the TV here and not there, but we're gonna let him have it. And he's got his little gaming setup. I still think I might paint this section. I think it would look nice with some floating shelves for him. And he just like loves the papas and cherry. got him this little pillow. This is the door here. This door leads into our bedroom, which is why this will make a good walk-in closet. Because we can, well, this was sealed off. We can reseal it off. And we can just have like a literal walk-in closet. I got to figure out how to show you guys this. Because we're getting a lot of sunlight in here. But here is the closet. Don't mind the paint swatches. I feel like every fixer-upper has paint swatches all over the house. But these are amazing. So they come in three different sizes, like a two to four foot, four to six foot. This is the six to eight foot one. So they're expandable and honestly gives us so much storage. Like I said, I think each of these is like between $100 and $150 Canadian. And we just get so much storage out of it. it all has matte stuff on it. He just has a little bit of a smaller one just because he doesn't have as much. So don't mind the TV stand. We're trying to get rid of it. The plan is to put one on this like angled wall here for like, I don't know 
just just more storage honestly so yeah i'm really happy with how that turned out it was pretty easy to install too matt said and just gives us so 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 much storage and then we rearranged the day bed again since we took out the tv so the tv was here and the papa's and chair was here but we put the bed back here and i really i swatched the bedroom because i really want to paint the bedroom like a dark moody blue because obviously you can are these two different colors why does this look like two different colors on the walls anyways you can obviously tell that this bedroom gets so much sun because we have two really big windows here so i thought it would be really nice i'm so sorry to disturb your beauty sleep ma'am you look so tired um oh big yawns from everybody I thought it'd be fun to do like a moody color here and I really want to get like a nice piece of art to go there. For a second I thought someone stole my car and I forgot that Matt took it to work. <laughs> I just got a little bit ready for the day. I just put on a tiny bit of skin tint and some blush. I'm staring in the viewfinder because I have this kink in my hair and it's irking me. Matt just texted me and let me know if you guys work in healthcare where you are and if this applies to you if you're if you like feel comfortable because in Ottawa our hospital we can only carry over 75 hours of vacation and it has to be approved by your manager. Matt says he has 120 hours that are expiring because he gets like two to three weeks a year but the thing is, is we always take long weekend trips so he only ever takes like two days off of work like we never go on a trip like for a week so he doesn't use that much vacation and so he was like babe i need you to plan a trip for april because my vacation time is expiring and i was like i am on it so we might get to go to disneyland after all it would kind of make the most sense for us to do disneyland because we already have tickets in a hotel like like a comped hotel so and i have so many airline points <laughs> um so we might look into doing that which would be really really fun april's a really nice time i've heard to go to disneyland because the weather is only like in the 20s like in the 70s i'm gonna maybe actually look into that a little bit today and see okay i feel like i'm having a nip slip but i'm not my boob is in my bra but i feel like i was having a nip slip there that was weird i love that i love planning trips that's like half of the fun for me so anyways i just spent the last half an hour looking at dates because we always travel around when it's the cheapest which by the way i have a whole video on how we travel on a budget which I will link down below. Um, so Matt will typically say like, hey, I need to use my vacation by like April 30th. And then I always look and see when flights are the cheapest <laughs> because the other stuff doesn't really change. It's always kind of flights that are more expensive. I guess hotels are too, if you're like traveling during like a holiday or something. And I think I'm going to get ready and take the dogs on a walk. It's nice out today. So I don't think I need a heavy jacket, which is really great. I think I'm gonna clock some hours at work today and just get some work done here or there. That way tomorrow I don't have like the you know, midweek scaries when I go back to work, especially after a long weekend and I didn't work on Friday. So, and hey, maybe I'll do that as well. I don't know, we'll see. But, and then I'll have some breakfast when I come back. I think I'm gonna have like eggs and potato hash. That sounds really good. Okay, let's take these dogs for a walk. I just air fried my little potato hash and I added in some mozzarella. We only had a mozzarella ball, so that's what I put in. Eggs, the egg is not giving me the ick today, so that's good. I mean, I haven't started eating it yet though, so who knows. I always gotta attack. And then the most important part, ketchup. Ketchup belongs on eggs. I don't make the rule. Hi guys, I just ate my breakfast. It was delicious and I just changed again. <laughs> I feel like I either change a hundred times in a day or I don't change at all in a day, but I progressively am getting a little chillier by the hour. I think it was just really hot in the house this morning, but I'm just wearing my favorite little thrifted vintage crew neck. It has like, up close that you can probably tell, it has like little specks of different colors in it. I love it. Just paired it with my favorite little Abercrombie. I love Abercrombie loungewear, I've realized, because one, it fits me because I'm tall, and two, the quality is just really good, I find. So yeah, I've worn these like probably, I don't know, but the cost per wear is worth the 50 or 60 dollars i spent on these pants oh let me share with you guys the countertop that we picked i'll put an inspiration photo of our kitchen here i had originally said i wanted to do a fun color lower cabinet and i might eventually but i decided to go with pale oak which i swatched i'll show you guys it's the one on the left here um and i was talking to matt about it and he was like well first of all if you're unsure just go with like the beige color that we wanted to do and then because it's already a light color if you want to paint it blue down the line you can like it's already you know a light color it's like primed and ready to go so i think for now especially with the countertop too i just like don't know how it's gonna look we're just going to do beige uppers and lowers i love beige i love the off-white and i also think too some of you guys made a good point that when you do colored bottoms it kind of restricts 
what you can decorate with and now that i'm really in my plant era i feel like green and blue i'm not sure if they really jive and if i were to do colored lowers i think i would ultimately do blue or like maybe a nice olive i don't know we'll see but i think for now we're just going to do the beige and let me show you guys the countertop we picked you can maybe tell now i just changed it over to a cloudy balance you can tell this is like a bit more pinky and this is a lot more beige yeah you can definitely tell with this lighting don't mind the fact that i got paint there we're gonna go for this one i think this one's just a little too pink for the space it's also a lot pinker in real life obviously things don't like colors don't come through exactly the right way on camera we're between these two woods and uh this one on the left was like category a which was like the cheaper category and then the this one is category c which is like the more expensive laminate but i'm glad i brought them home because i originally wanted to do this one but i think this is too similar to this i think the darker wood will really pop and we get so much sunlight in the kitchen that we can do something fun like this it's not like the condo where we had to kind of do the white on white so this is the kind of color combo we're going with we're definitely going to do brass handles just not these ones i prefer like a more of an antique look one but this is going to be kind of the color combo that we go for it's going to look really really nice so i'm really excited about that it'll kind of like yeah look like this i'm really really excited about it. so that's the countertop that we picked i'm just i can't wait to do this project hi friends hello why did i say that like i was starting a vlog it's literally 1 p.m my brain is about to explode explode so we're taking a little break to do a book review i am trying to finish my taxes well i have to by February 28th because I guess in order to which I don't really understand taxes that's why I have an accountant um in order to issue myself the tax slip for my personal taxes that I paid myself dividends like a t4 for myself I have to share with my accountant like my profit and losses so like all of my bookkeeping to make sure that I paid myself money that I actually had from the business so I did that and my taxes are pretty much done. I do my bookkeeping like every month, but I like to like quadruple check my bookkeeping because I'm terrified to go to jail. Like I'm terrified of my taxes. I don't know why. I don't write off anything sketchy at all. Not saying that people do, but like I feel like with your taxes, like especially as a creator, there's like a blurred line of what you can and can't write off. And I could write off so much more than I do, but I'm so scared like the only things I really write off are like business travel, which is like valid. If I go work from a coffee shop, even then I like don't write it off half the time because I'm like scared. I don't know why. Um, books are the main thing I write off because they obviously add up quick. Not that I, I don't really buy a lot of new books though. And production costs, so like cameras, um, stuff like that. But that can only be written off, like get depreciated value. You can only write off a certain percentage per year. Matt always laughs because I'm terrified for my taxes, even though like I check it over three or four times and I never write off anything like questionable. Like as long as basically you can justify it, you should be able to write it off. Um, I'm currently going through my Amazon Kindle like history and adding up all of those books because like two or three dollars here or there does add up. And that's the last piece I have. I try and do like a little bit every day. So this weekend I did all of my business travel which I've already done it throughout the year for bookkeeping, but I just like go over it two or three times, like make sure even though like that's what you have an accountant for to go over all these things. Um, and since we travel to the States, I have to convert everything into Canadian. Like all of my receipts are in American or USD. So yeah, but that's what I'm spending most of my day off doing. Well, it's not really a day off if you're working for yourself, but you know what I mean? Anyways, I have a little Olipop strawberry vanilla. I got these in the States, but I know you can get them in Canada now, I think. I haven't had this flavor yet. Oh, that is yummy. It doesn't really, it kind of tastes like one of those, you know, those like strawberry cream, like hard candies, the pink and white ones. Can I help you? I just let you outside. What do you want? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Here comes Devil Rudy. What do you want now? Come here. Stella just wants to lay with me though. Okay. Does everyone want to hang with mommy today? I finished Stacey Williams' newest release, Only If You're Lucky. I feel like this was a big thriller release month for me, at least. I think I read three new releases, Stace, uh, Freedom McFadden's and then Samantha Bailey's, which I feel like it's like, just depending on when I'm vlogging, if I review a book, she's eating that bone so loud, um, like in a vlog or I leave it for the wrap up. Like for example, the new Freedom McFadden book and Samantha Bailey book. I wasn't vlogging when I finished it. So like I was like, oh, I'll just talk about it in the book wrap up. But if I finish a book during a vlog, I'll share it if that makes any sense. 
yeah read this i feel like her first two books were super super strong and all the goodreads reviews are saying the same that her first two books were so good that the expectations were pretty high for this and it honestly just fell flat for me like story of my life she is an amazing author though if you haven't read a flicker in the dark or oh what's the other one all the dangerous things i highly recommend they're some of my favorite thrillers of all time but i will say my biggest critique on this which did i say i think i'm gonna give it like three three and a half stars i'm gonna sit on it for a bit is that her first two books are about women in their 30s they're very adult focused whereas this one feels very ya because it's about like a dangerous obsessive friendship in college i also just like don't love the dangerous obsessive friend trope in thrillers like it's just kind of like doesn't feel realistic i don't know but maybe that's just because it's never happened to me i don't know but this is but this is about this is about margo who meets this girl named lucy at the end of her freshman year in college and lucy's basically like hey do you have anywhere to live next semester and she's like no um and like lucy goes to the college like she was in her dorm so as long as she's a random stranger so they all move in together and basically it's like three other girls and margo and then um, basically it just says Margo and Lucy have become the closest of friends but in the middle of their sophomore year one of the frat boys from the house next door is brutally murdered and Lucy disappears without a trace. I feel like if you like a really slow burn thriller you would really like this but it's kind of one of those books that nothing happens for the first like three quarters of the book and then the last quarter of the book everything happens which I personally prefer a better paced book. I don't really love the whole like big like three or four reveals in the last like 50 pages like that's just not my style of thriller i feel like it's also a little bit too long like if you had maybe cut it down a little bit i would have appreciated the last like 25 percent of just all these plot twists and i will say that the actual plot and plot twist i didn't really see coming like it was a good thriller i do still recommend it three three and a half stars is still good i just feel like when you compare it to her other two books it wasn't as strong in my opinion but i definitely still think it's worth reading or like picking up at the library so yeah read that i'm hoping to maybe squeeze in one more book before my february wrap up but i don't know we'll see i want to take a break from doing my taxes so let's open some packages they're all in my office though so we shall go upstairs very interesting angle i'm sitting on the floor you guys are on my office chair and this is my desk but it's so sunny so i have to like almost like my computer's blocking the sun so i can film this but first package we see the sun's coming in now that's okay it's fine we're just gonna deal with it um i'm thinking that they accidentally sent me my brand package twice because you guys know i work with fat fun seasonally so I'm kind of confused because it says spring 2024, but obviously that video's already gone live and I already got my package. So I'm not too sure what this is. <laughs> okay, wait, no, these are different products. Oh, I think this is a Valentine's Day, like little, like surprise package. It just says, love you. This Valentine's Day, take time to celebrate everything that makes you, you. Here's a special coupon code to share the love for a $200 free gift with annual subscription. Oh, okay, I guess if anyone wants to use the code. That is so sweet. I guess these must be maybe the things from the spring box. Oh, we hope you love these favorites from our spring box and flash sales. Ooh, oh, you guys, Pop Pop Fun, they really spoil me. That team really spoils the heck out of me. What is this? Oh my gosh, a stony clover pouch. This is so nice. Wow, this is stunning. This would be like a really good size for, I don't know, like electronics or something maybe really nice looks like a pencil case honestly you could probably also use it for that okay wow this is really really nice 25 ounces it says 48 hours cold 24 hours hot that is so sweet the fact that the fun team like really spoils me oh my gosh Too faced born this way naturals nude palette oh my gosh Ooh. okay there's some nice colors i don't want to get too close one of them kind of broke in transit but that's okay that is so nice. We've got an Osea Ocean Cleanser. I've heard really good things about Osea, actually. Their packaging is also stunning. I think Bianca works with them a lot. This is stunning. We've got some Avita leave-in conditioner. I'm always running out of leave-in conditioner because I have super thick, tangly hair, so that's really exciting. And then what is this? A Malin, Malin and Goats? I, I know the brand, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I think this is a lip balm. Oh no, it's a perfume. Ooh, that's like the perfect little size for travel or something. Oh, that smells so good. It just smells sophisticated. I don't know how I don't know how else to explain that. So thank you so much to the FabFitFun girls if they're watching this. That was the biggest surprise ever. I had no idea that was coming. All right, okay, next. Also, that's like my um US address, so don't worry, I'm not like leaking my address or anything. Um, next, I don't know what this is. 
Oh, really exciting and adulting. I feel like I literally like never order myself fun packages. We've got some vacuum filters. I have these on auto ship from Amazon every three months. So we got some vacuum filters because we vacuum a ton in this house, obviously with all the hardwood floors. Then we have this mystery package. I don't know what it is. Oh, I do not know how I got on the Lancome PR list. I have no idea. <sighs> Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This looks like a lip balm. I'm very confused. Oh, liquid eyeshadow in a really pretty nude color. Oh, I think you can use it as eyeshadow or blush. Yeah, liquid eye blusher. And then this must be a new mascara, Idol Lash. I have no idea how I got on that PR list. I feel like an imposter for that, but thank you so much, Lancome. These are some bread pans because Matt wants to start making our bread into like sandwich loaves. So I ordered him some bread pans. These were like, I think 10 bucks for both of them on Amazon. They're just uh, like bread, loaf, pans, whatever. Really exciting. Okay. And then one of you guys sent me a package to my PO box, which was just so sweet. The dogs already got into their um, toys that she sent, but she literally sent the sweetest little package ever. She sent this like really nice card. I'm not gonna like obviously read you the inside, but this is from Kat and she is just the sweetest. Like I just, you guys are just the best, honestly. You guys are so, so kind. And she even sent over some dog treats for the dogs. They're from a local First Nations indigenous business. And this like little tote bag, look how cute that is for spooky season or all year round, honestly. And this sweet little Halloween Disney pin. She said, make a little mystery book. And she said, a six star read, an addictive page turner. If you thought the twists and turns of The Only One Left gave you whiplash, wait until you read this one. I've been recommending this book since I first read it in 2010. Every single person I recommended it to devoured and said it's one of the best, if not the best thriller they've ever read. Let's see what it is. Okay, I've actually never even heard of this book, which is why I just like love getting recommendations from other people because we all introduce each other to new books. This is The Whisperer by Donato Carisi. Six severed arms are discovered, arranged in a circle and buried in a clearing in the woods. Five of them appear to belong to missing girls. The six is yet to be identified. Worse still, the girls' bodies, dead or alive, are nowhere to be found. Lead investigators and profiler and a criminologist grow obsessed with a case that becomes ever more tangled and intense as they unravel the layers of evil. Okay, wow, I'm so excited to read this. I love more like murder investigation thriller books, so I'm really, really excited about this. Oh, I love when a book has like emails and stuff too. Wow, thank you Kat so much. That was so, so sweet. Maybe I'll actually start this. This sounds really, really good. So maybe I'll give this a go. That was so kind. You did not have to do that. Um, I'm just, I'm honestly at a loss for words because you guys are just the most amazing community ever. I love you guys so, 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 so much. So thank you so much, Kat. Once again, I'll have to let you know what I think about this book, but now I need to clean up all of these packages and put them away. That was a nice little break from my taxes and now I should probably get back to them. My biggest tip for eating a balanced life is to eat what you want, add what you need. So I wanted corn dog nuggets for lunch, so I decided to pair it with uh, yogurt to keep me full, some prosciutto, cucumber, apple, and then mozzarella with balsamic. So we've got some veggies, we've got some protein, and I'm really excited. I love these Oikos 20 grams of protein yogurts. I wish we had them in Canada. So good. So I'm going to have this sit down, probably get some more taxes done, but that is my like first lunch, I guess. I don't know. You guys know I love to snack throughout the day. My hair has been in a hat for way too long today. I think I'm going to have to ignore the hair okay but I don't really know how to explain this so I hope this makes sense but I've been wanting a quilt for a really long time and my mom had this one at the house that is from her mom and she asked me if I wanted it and there is something so beautifully special about a parent giving you an item that you remember from your childhood if that makes sense like I vividly remember this from my childhood and being in our house. And the fact that I have it in our house now, it just makes me wanna cry. I don't know, It's there's something so beautiful having a piece of like your childhood home. Sorry, I keep looking over here. It's because my hair is so flat. There's just like something about having a piece from your childhood home in your home as an adult that is like so beautiful. And anyways, yeah, I'm so happy. So I wanted to share with you guys. I'm gonna keep it in my office just cause obviously I don't want the quilts around the dogs, but it is my grandmother's who I didn't really, get the chance to know very well 
but it's just so beautiful. It's blue. It's got these little blue flowers in it and it's just stunning. It's so beautiful. So anyways, I just wanted to share that because this is like the highlight of my weekend and I know it's like so small, but it really meant so much to me. So I have that, but the whole reason I came up here is because this is my decor in our spare bedroom, an ivy, <laughs> lovely infinity stones at Mando. And then we have a little tray with our um, perfumes right here. You can't really see it, but, and Lila's great, but I think this might become my new everyday perfume. I really love it so much. Also, I hung this plant up here, but I think the like chain is too short. Like it looks really silly. So I know that it looks goofy. I need to find a planter with a longer chain. I just think it looks so funny. It's very short, so I need to fix that. I swear, it's like Animal Planet. Every time I come upstairs, they just wanna play on the bed. I'm gonna give you guys a plant tour. So this guy is new. He doesn't have a name yet, but he is a, I think a marble pothos is what they called it. And I have to do the whole like first letter of the name with the plant name. So like Perry the pothos, you know, Ivy the Ivy, stuff like that, you know? So this one doesn't have a name yet. Bathroom Ivy is Ivan the Ivy. Also, he's loving it in here. And look, he has new leaves, guys. These are new. I'm like, a, I'm just so proud of myself. Like not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I'm a good plant mom. Little babies, and he's growing, which means I haven't killed him yet. So I'm really happy. This is Ivan the Ivy. This Ivy is new and does not have a name yet. She is nameless. Uh, this is Pablo. And this is Perry. <laughs> Guys, I'm not kidding. I'm like a crazy plant mom. And if I ever forget, I have them all in the app. This is the one that Matt got me for Valentine's Day. This is Carl the crocodile. He is like a croc, he looks like a crocodile skin. So I love Carl. Um, my little windowsill one is Gloria. Ivy in the kitchen doesn't have a name either. So that's my job. And then I'll report back to you in the next vlog. And this is Peter, my first child. Peter is very special because Peter was obviously my first plant so love him so much peter and ivy honestly are the, peter and ivan are honestly the ogs so that's my little plant tour i'm really in my full-on plant era right now okay this is how every morning starts i always ask stella if she wants to wake her sister up because lila sleeps in her crate and she's waiting by the door to go get her guys this is the cutest thing ever look at her do you want to get your sister Where's your sister? <gasps> Did daddy put you a bed in your crate for you? That was so nice of him. Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. I didn't end up vlogging yesterday. I kind of was feeling a little slumpy again, if I'm being honest. I feel like I'm just kind of going in and out of it. Honestly, also, one sec, I'm not picking my nose. My nose ring is sticking out. But I feel like between the last clip and now I've done like a 180 because I'm like ready for the day. Happy Thursday. When I have those 8 a.m. meetings, um, it's like we do grand rounds, which is just like educational sessions that we do twice a month that I coordinate, find a speaker and stuff. So my camera's not on or anything, but that's like typically how I show up. I'm like bundled into a blanket with um, like eye patches on and um yeah and then i get ready really quick because i have a meeting 30 minutes later with my manager but on these days i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't do a morning routine at all i wake up make my coffee i sit down and i take this meeting because 8 a.m meeting should not be a thing but it's okay it's okay i got home pretty late last night from book club so i'm feeling exhausted i think i got home like 11 o'clock also just because like i'm obviously like 40 minutes away from the city now i don't even know what happened but i do i if you guys have been following for a while um we started a book club two years ago with just like some of my good friends from the hospital like when we all worked bedside and obviously we've kind of like all gone our own ways now like some nurses are still on bedside some of them moved on to like manager roles coordinator roles i obviously do like coordination now um but i met them all when i was a clerk and uh, I've made like some really amazing good like girlfriends for life um, at work, which is amazing So anyways, started a book club like two years ago But obviously last year was just so chaotic the first like six months of the year with travel for me with work Like I was in Quebec City then I was in Toronto then I was in a Calouette Then I was back in Toronto then we were in Orlando for like a personal trip And so every time they would pick like a book club date I was always traveling for work and so I ended up just stopping 
book club for a bit and then I don't really know what happened but I, I think I accidentally muted the chat so I didn't even know it was still going on and then we can talk about this after but I feel like I'm going through a friendship breakup right now that I don't even realize is a friendship breakup and I had just a huge huge cry a few weeks ago with Matt and you guys don't know one of my bestest bestest friends she moved across the country last year to take a travel nurse job which I'm so happy for her but I feel like things like that can either like make or break a friendship and I feel like I'm just very much like grieving not having that person here I was just crying to Matt in the dining room literally and he was saying like oh what happened to book club like you should you should go back to book club because I was saying how like I have friends here I have Michaela who's obviously like one of my dearest friends now and I just feel like everyone obviously like as an adult like moves away we get busy with you know work and life and stuff I was like I don't even know what happened to book club and then I looked and book club had been going on the whole time but I had accidentally like muted the notifications so all that to say uh, I texted the girls and was like, hi guys, uh, I didn't realize book club was still happening, like can I come back? And obviously like, they're just like the friends that like, we, you know, it's like, it's like no time has passed. And so anyways, I went back to my first book club last night. I obviously didn't read the book, but I just wanted to like go. And you know, you, you guys know how book club is, you know, we ate a bunch of apps, we had some wine. I picked our book for next month, which I'm really excited about. I think one of the reasons I also stopped going to book club was because I don't really love memoir like our book club is very much like lit fic memoirs like book clubby type books okay like where the crawdads sing like all those kinds of books and they're just not my go-to like style but something i want to work on this year is reading a bit more out of my comfort zone and i'll talk about that in my getting out of a slump slash rut video because that's one of my tips is to like try a new genre of book if you're in a book slump or just try a new hobby and so anyways, I recommended a few books and we decided on one, which I'll share with you guys after because I'm going to kind of slowly put together my TBR for March for my reset video. But uh, yeah, it felt really good to get out of the house. I feel like being an introvert and then also being like almost 45 minutes to an hour outside of the city now, I'm like extra introverted because it's just so far to go. But anyways, I honestly had so much fun and yeah, I didn't really vlog much yesterday. I just had like a really, really busy work day and and um, I still haven't washed my hair. I'm on day five. Honestly, I'm really trying to like train my hair. I take a body shower every night. I don't know if you're like, is that too often? I don't really know. But I have a Pilates class tonight. There's a, actually Matt and I saw when we were doing groceries the other day, there's a dance studio a few towns over. Um, it's like a bigger town. Like it's where we go to, to like, you know, there's like a Starbucks, um, a bunch of grocery stores and stuff, like about 20 minutes away. And anyways, we were driving by this dance studio and they had a sign saying like bar Pilates Zumba. And so I was like, ooh, I want to try it out and see if it's like, I think like sometimes with like Pilates and bar, um, it's like not super, like it's more beginner. So I figured I would go and see, especially with the new year, they always have good deals right now. I think your first class was free or something. So I'm going to go tonight to a little Pilates class, which I think will be nice. I miss classes. I was saying to Matt that I really miss spin, but we're obviously so far now. And I'm not someone who's self, like I'm self-motivated to work out, like to go to the gym and lift or go for a run or go for a walk. But with classes, I'm not um, like we tried the whole spin bike at home thing and I just never used it. I really need the energy of like getting out of the house and going to a class. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe like I'll do them on like a Sunday or something. But even then, like driving 40 minutes to a spin class, doing it for an hour and driving 40 minutes home, like it's kind of like your whole morning gone. So anyways, I really hope I like this Pilates class because they also do like hot yoga and I thought that would be just like maybe nice to switch up, get out of the house and do it a few times a week. My meeting is in three minutes. I'm gonna butter my toast, sit down, take my meeting. On days like today, I like to take a lot of mini breaks so I can just like chat with you guys and hang out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna vlog for a bit today and then you guys will see this video tomorrow just cause I don't know, why not? I'm feeling chatty today. Got a little plant friend trying to make a little appearance, but I just got out of my meeting. Uh, it was nice, did a little touch base, made my to-do list for the day. And uh, yeah, I just made myself a little coffee. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys my mug. See it? It's an Arendelle mug. Are you freaking joking me? It's like the best one yet. We have all the mugs from the, not the, even the 50th. It was the collection before the 50th. Um, and I just love them so much. We also have 
Wakanda and I think we have Batu as well. I can show you guys. They're like some of our favorite mugs ever, honestly. Um, but yeah, I got the Arendelle one. I'm so happy about it. I just saw that they restocked a ton. So if you guys are going to Florida soon to um, Disney World, they just restocked them. But I had to get it. I had to get it. I'm not usually someone when like the viral like Disney merch goes live to like buy something, but I just, I really needed that one. I wonder if we have any in the wash. Oh, we actually don't have any in the wash right now. Also, I feel like I need to do like an updated mug collection, um, but <laughs> we're ready. We have the F1 mugs out. We are ready for the season. This is the one I got Matt for Valentine's Day, and then I got this one for myself. I was like, I feel like we need F1 mugs for, for Sundays, you know, which, ah, uh, listen, I try to be minimal in some aspects of my life, but mugs, I just I love mugs. Okay, they bring me so much joy. These are the mugs we have from the Been There collection. We are missing, I think they have three or four Star Wars ones, but we only have the two, and then we have all four parks. So we have obviously Animal Kingdom, Epcot. Um, I did get a Wakanda one on clearance, Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, and we love these. They're just like such a good, dense size mug. They're really great for like tea or something. We typically use them for tea at night, but... Yeah, I honestly love the Batu one. I think it's really, really cool. And I also really love the Epcot one. So anyways, yeah, we added a new one to the collection. I'm really excited about this coffee. I really need a second one today. Good thing I literally got this from Book Outlet last month. Gonna come in handy. Okay, meeting is done. I'm just taking like a little 10 minute break because I have to jump into a pretty busy work day. And I'll probably end the vlog off after this just because I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow. Um, our book club pick for March is Beartown. I'm really excited to read it. I actually posted on my Instagram story yesterday that I was looking for some literary fiction recommendations, especially for beginners, because I find lip fic is either like really good or I just like can't comprehend it. And so, you guys gave me some really good recommendations. So I ordered a few books. I had a um, Amazon gift card from my Rakuten cashback and I think I had $50. So I was able to order some books. I'm gonna share those in my getting out of a rut video because I feel like switching up your genre can be really good too. So I'm really excited about that, but I'm really excited to start this because I feel like I've heard nothing but good things, honestly. So give you guys an update this weekend. Um, if I get into it, I'm gonna film a weekend no, I'm filming my getting out of a rut video. I was thinking of next weekend. I'm obviously filming a weekend vlog because it's the first race of the season. So race weekend vlogs are back. Carter Matt's predictions are back. One time I guessed literally right in a vlog last year. I literally guessed the exact podium. So now we're gonna do that for every race. I think that would be so fun. You're looking so cute right now. You're looking so cute right now. Good morning. Where's your sister? Where's your sister Looney? Well, Oh, oh, okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. I know. Did you miss me last night when I was gone? Okay, okay. I have to take them for a walk soon. They're kind of crazy. Anyways, Lila and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Stella's probably off sleeping somewhere. Let's be for real. BFFR. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.